Hello, hello everybody. Today we are going to learn how to paint this deep purple background. Now you can paint a lot of different things on this. I chose to paint these really simple wildflowers. If you'd like to watch the tutorial of how to paint these wildflowers, I will put a link in the description below. Okay, let's get started with the background. Begin by coating the canvas with a very thin layer of paint thinner. And then you're going to take white and starting from the middle, fan out the white paint toward the outer edges. And then you're going to get your purple or violet paint and you're going to fan into the white that you painted. And then you're gonna fan blue out from the purple. And then you're going to put some burnt umber or dark brown around the edges and put it a little thicker at the corners. This will give you a vignette at the end. And you're just gonna paint that all the way around. And then you're going to get your sponge and you're going to begin in the center and you're going to blot and push and twist the paint around and make your, sp your sponge go in a circular motion around and around and around, going further and further out every time until you reach the very outer layers of the painting. And you're gonna wipe your sponge off and you're just gonna keep doing this over and over until the painting is blended the way you like it. If you want, you can always add a little bit more paint here or there if you feel like, oh, it needs even more purple or more blue or a little darker around the edges. Just add paint and don't be afraid to do so. So I'm just, I just keep blotting and keep blotting. This actually took me about 15 minutes, but I'm showing it to you in about two minutes. It's amazing how much your eye can pick up when it's in fast motion. If it gets too muddy in the center, just add a little bit more white and purple paint and keep going around and around. Now you wanna do it until you can't see any definitive lines from one color to the next. In other words, it's going to blend out. But blotting it this way will kind of give it a stony effect. And I am done. Now go paint your picture on top of it. Woohoo!